Uh. What is going on guys? Uh, I got a story for you today. Now, if you're watching this video, most likely this all happened yesterday, which is today. It actually happened about five or six hours ago uh, during the day, it's nighttime now. Uh, I was not going to make this video, but I decided uh, you guys are my family. Whatever happens, I need to let you guys know. And it's kind of important because it's gonna affect me a little bit, just a tiny bit. Now, as the title says, uh, it is not clickbait. Today, unfortunately, I was robbed, and I was robbed big time. Um, let me tell you what happened. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments that are saying, well, you shouldn't do this anyway. It's so obvious, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. And trust me, I know. So today was a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. We had a cold front come in, perfect weather. I decided, let's go out and fish, let's film. Let's have some fun. So that's what I did. I headed out to a state park, local in my area. That state park is called Oleta State Park. It was located in North Miami Beach, Florida. So I got to this park, which I have been many, many times. I've been to this park probably 25 times. And I got there, I paid, I parked. I got all my stuff out. Well, most of my stuff out. I grabbed my rods, I put my GoPro on my chest, and I grabbed my bait bucket, walked to the pier, and I left my tackle bag and my camera bag in the truck. Now, by the way, this all happened about 20 minutes after I posted this photo, which I posted online on Instagram. This all happened 20 minutes after this photo. So, little backstory, going back just a little bit, as we were getting the gear out of the truck, I noticed that there was a car parked, dark, sketchy car, dark tint, and the car was on. But at the time, I didn't put two and two together. I didn't realize anything. The park was very empty. It's a Wednesday afternoon. It is no one there pretty much. And I didn't think anything of it. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Jay, why did you leave your stuff in the car? Now, what happened was we were bringing our stuff to the dock and we were going. I was going to come back to the car and grab the rest of the stuff because it was just too much stuff to carry at one time. So, after we got the rods, my camera was on me, my GoPro was on my chest, and I had the bait bucket. We walked towards the fishing dock, set up, put our hooks on, we had some shrimp, we put some lines out, and I said, okay, I'm gonna go get my tackle bag, and I'm gonna get my camera bag. As I walked up to my car, from a distance I noticed, or my truck, I noticed that the window was open, and I said, oh man, I left my window open. And as I got closer and closer to the car, I saw little shards of glass like on the corners of the windows. And that's when, that's when I realized um, all my stuff was stolen. Now, the stuff that was stolen, it was my camera, my DSLR camera. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I'm filming this right now on my GoPro, which I would normally film my, my big camera. I got my camera stolen, my external mic stolen, my tripod stolen my camera bag itself, all the, all the stuff inside the bag, which was extra lenses, extra batteries, memory cards, chargers, um, a bunch of miscellaneous items, uh, as well as my tackle bag, which I'm almost a little bit more upset than the actual camera and camera bag because a lot of you guys will agree with me that my tackle bag took years to build up. Over time, you just add and add and add, and you get this big tackle bag full of stuff. Now, I know you guys might think, well, John, you're a YouTuber, you get sponsored. No, uh, all the stuff in my tackle bag, I have over the time, over time, over years and years and years have collected myself. So that really hurt bad. Um, I was a little, really upset about that. So it's all gone, it's all gone. And I, like I said before, I wasn't gonna make this video. I'm not gonna make it long either. This is just an informative video that if you have a car or if you're soon to own a car, I know it's an obvious thing, but even if you're gonna come back for your stuff like I was, didn't even give it 10 minutes, don't do it. Don't leave your stuff in the car. I, I got comfortable. I left my stuff and said, I'll be right back for it. And probably it took those stupid thieves 30 seconds to be in and out and it was gone. So. Um, and also, like I said at the beginning of this video, it may affect me because now I don't have a DSLR camera, which uh, it won't affect the videos. I'll still post videos three times a week like I always do, maybe even more actually, but 
Um, I won't be filming with the DSLR um, for a few weeks and I have no tackle. So uh, it's kind of, and I just organized all my tackle, all my jerk baits, swim baits, crank baits, soft plastics, hooks, weights, jig heads, leader, everything was in that bag and now it's gone. So uh, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get my tackle bag together like I had it, but the videos will stay. I got plenty of videos left over. Uh, waiting to be uploaded anyway. Good thing I did that. I'm making this video just to let you guys know what happened. Things like this do happen. Be prepared. Uh, be cautious of your surroundings. Uh, by the way, that sketchy car that I saw uh, was not there when I came back. So it may have been that person. Um, and yeah, it sucks. It really, really sucks. And I'm kind of still upset about it. Um, this video is not clickbait. I just wanted to let you guys know that things can happen and they do happen and you never think they're going to happen to you, but they do. So to all my subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate the continuous support. Um, probably through all this anyway, you guys are still going to show me love and watch my videos. So it is all good. After this video, everything is going to be on schedule. Actually, I'm going to post this video as well as a fishing video in the same day, just to show you guys that we're not getting off schedule here. Uh, so that's pretty much going to be it. Um, last thing I want to say before I end this short video is to the thieves that hopefully see this video, maybe they see it, they have my DSLR, maybe they'll watch the clips that are in there and put two and two together and see that I have a channel. If you guys are watching this video, I have one thing to say to you guys. Fuck you. <laughs>